the way out is through action, not through sitting, not through thinking. It's action, it's a physical action, it's a perspective shift, which is an action that happens through movement. So keep moving. By far most proud about my college degree. I got a gold medal in Beijing, I've defended that. I got a world championship gold medal also, and uh, several other accolades, you know, making special forces, joining the military, joining the Marine Corps, being successful there. I was actually the first um, in our family to get uh, a college degree from an accredited university. Instead of watching the world go by, a lot of people just like to ride the train. Accomplishment, it, you really have a tangible, measurable quality about yourself when you start accomplishing things. Finding something that you want to plan or move towards in the next part of your life. Having hopes and dreams. I mean, these things start to move you beyond feeling useful, feeling like you have a purpose, feeling like there's something that you can start to dream about. I think you have to go back to the things that, you know, really think about what your passions are and what your goal and mission in life is. And even though your life might be fundamentally altered by, you know, a certain condition or injury, you're still the same person, you still have the same mission and drive and passions and sometimes people have to really think about what those are. Well, I never really knew what I wanted to be when I grew up, but I grew up anyway. And when I was about 27, I was faced with a pretty unnerving decision of either to go down or to get up. I worked hard and I showed up, which I had never done before. I think I believed I had a last chance and I took advantage of that chance and 20 years later I'm, I'm I've made a living in the business, and I've made a good living, and I, and I feel satisfied with who I am. I'm a Silver Star and Purple Heart recipient. I'm featured as an action figure and a video game character, and I've been recognized by President Bush at the 07th State of the Union Address, an infantry squad leader who's about to go back to Iraq for the second time. I feel like it's been long enough for me to mentally and physically overcome my issues and problems and grow as a man and family man. It's an honor for me to be a part of something so great. I step up to a challenge. In fact, I'm okay with being uncomfortable. Like, I challenge myself to be uncomfortable sometimes because comfort is like a drug. If an obstacle comes before me, I just look at it as an opportunity to grow. Sometimes the obstacle is a little uncomfortable. Most of the time, I never even see them coming. I want every student in every school to have equal access to media and arts, period. My certainty and my purpose comes from something that I can only describe as pure passion. These guys care more about this than you know, anything else in their lives. There's no question. Keep going, you gotta have a dream and you have to be able to see the little steps that need to be taken in order to reach that. And I think the bigger the dream, the more little steps you need in between. And you can't give up. You can't give up any step of the way. To know the dream, to know yourself, and to know your reality, I think are necessary in order to achieve. For an entrepreneur, I think the most important thing is to never lose sight of the dream. You've been to the darkest depths and you've been to the highest heights and everything in between. Now looking back, I feel grateful for, for all of it, even the, even the pain, the, all the pain, all the suffering, all the confusion. Even though, it, I mean, you know, it took years these days, but it's all, all I feel is gratitude. The most important thing you can, can do is not lose hope not lose uh, uh, your confidence in your ability to, to, to nurture and to bring someone um, all the way back. Change the way you think. Whenever a bad thought comes in your head, try to analyze it or change it you know, differently. I mean, it's, a, it's a very hard thing to do, I know, but you could do it because I have, so I know it's possible. 
you have to just face your fears and, and just do it. And it's it's might be hard at first, but it gets easier. And then it becomes just like clockwork. It just starts happening. I see her for the first time in a long time, really looking forward to doing things in her life to, to prosper. I, I see her getting her passions uh, back in life, what she once had. I see a smile on her face. She gets up in the morning and, and she's, she's ready to, to, to She's happy. I would say I'm most proud of being a good friend. I think I um, am reliable and I feel like I really um, give a lot to my relationships. It wasn't easy. I really had to work at all the different steps and I just feel like I've really become um, a great friend. I'd say any individual that's striving to do something outside themselves, I would, I would hope that in their search and on their journey, that while they want to take, I hope that they will give. They will feel so good and they will make a difference. Certainly the lesson I've learned in plodding through my life and achieving a, a modicum of success is that I've gotten richer when I've been able to give back. And I think difference making is really a form of wealth. Do not give up and do not quit. Don't let anything be an excuse as to why you can't continue on and why you can't fulfill your dreams and your goals. When you're dealing with really hard stuff to deal with, it comes down to two choices. You're either going to go on or quit and give up. It's just another point in your life. It's not good or bad. It just becomes a part of your journey. And that, that's the ultimate uh, sense of peace, I think. Things can get better for anybody. anybody. I don't care what your circumstances are. There's so much good stuff out there. Life is amazing, and you never know what can happen in the future. You're not alone. Just know you're not alone.